So as the machine is making its product, you'll get a ribbon of product coming out of the gate here, a slide attaches to the front of the front plate here, and then we have our waiting dipping cabinet, which will catch and uh, keep the product frozen. Now one of the big things about custard is that it's a freshly made product. Unlike the batch freezer, where we're making a batch of ice cream and then freezing it, storing it, and then bringing it out to the case, Custard primarily is made between the two and four hour mark. So generally every two to four hours, the customer, unless they have the volume to warrant keeping this machine going constantly, uh, being a continuous freezer, they will run a batch of freshly made product for the next say two or three, four hours. Then they will make a fresh batch and a fresh batch and then they get to the point where let's say 7 p.m. where they'll keep that machine running all the way through from seven till close. So you'll get a ribbon that comes from the front of the machine down the slide into the dipping cabinet and the employee is scooping out of the dipping cabinet. Now we have uh, options on dipping cabinets as well. So we make a two, three and four compartment dipping cabinet as well as a dipping cabinet with a refrigerated condiment rail on the front for keeping condiments ready for making flavours of the day. So you have a lot of different options when it comes to capacity of these machines. We make a countertop machine which is a smaller machine, self-contained, air-cooled which will run about five gallons per hour. And really that's only designed for an add-on frozen dessert, say for a coffee shop or a pizza place that doesn't have a core product as a frozen dessert or ice cream, that's more of an add-on product. Whereas you've got the M series, this is an M202, which again, 20 inch, inch barrel, will give the operator around about eight to 10 gallons per hour per barrel. So relatively good capacity. And then we move up to our CC range, which is a CC 202, 303, and in some cases a 404. And that is a 30 inch barrel, which will give operators 10 to 15 gallons per hour per barrel. So we can get quite a lot of capacity out of some of these custard machines. A very specific machine for a very specific product. So another feature of the larger custard machines is this dipper well on the front. It's really one of the only machines that Stalting has where it has an inbuilt dipper well with a refreshable water source. So as most of you know, in the process of retailing frozen desserts, many health departments require a refreshable water source for scoops and spades. And so in the M202 and the CC units, we have four refreshable and self-filling, self-draining dipper wells that will actually keep uh, product contamination issues at bay. So if I've got my butter pecan scoop here, this well drains and fills separately than my vanilla and my chocolate. So again, regardless of the configuration, whether you have a water-cooled or air-cooled machine, uh, your retailer will have to have some form of drain system around the machine so that this dipper well can drain into that process. So that's a quick overview of custard and custard machines. If you have any questions whatsoever, there's more information on the website, which is staltingfoodservice.com or feel free to call one of the sales managers at Stolting, we'd be more than happy to help you.